Well, we are back, and Dan Smith joins us once again with Bell Mountain Rescue. He's putting on a different hat now. He's going to let us know about the Friends of Mountain Rescue. And this is an organization that helps you guys out. Bell Mountain Rescue is a nonprofit organization. You're dispatched by the Sheriff's Department. You get a little help from them, but other than that, it's donation-based. Well, absolutely. We, we get good support from government, uh, but there's always a gap. Uh, if you look at a, one of a typical mission, one we just pulled last week, we had $150,000 in trucks, another $50,000 in snow machines, probably another $8,000 in radios, toss another four or 5,000 in ancillary gear and 10,000 in a, a snow trailer. You got $200,000 yeah. to get one guy, or actually one woman, out of a hut who was sick. Uh, it's not cheap to do this. The expenses aren't a whole lot because we don't get paid, uh, gasoline and so forth. But it's the capital costs, the training costs, all of that. We used to do it by doing everything but bake sales, and it was the team members, the folks going on missions doing it. But we had an organization called Friends, and Friends was set up really as, as a, a, a money management organization. But we had some folks at the Alpine Club that got very, they love us, they like to support us, but they got very tired of having our silent auction items cluttering up their closets. So they came to us and said, can we help you in some other way? And they, we, Friends got much more active. Uh, you, a lot of people in the Valley, we've gotten a direct mail letter from Friends. We were involved in Colorado Gives Day, uh, trying to cover this sixty dollars to $100,000 a year gap between what we get from government and what it costs us to run missions. Uh, we train constantly, and a lot of that training requires experts from outside. Uh, those guys don't work for free because we tend to hire the best in the business. Uh, it costs money. And the money all has to come from donations. Uh, we never send anybody a bill. We don't get any tax revenue. Yeah, I think that's the big thing to yeah. mention. If you uh, have charge. a mishap in the backcountry, they come and get you a broken ankle on a hiking trip or who knows, broken yeah. leg, they don't get a bill. Whether you have a CoStar card or a fishing license or hunting license, it doesn't matter. You always have a free rescue from us. Okay. Uh, now, once we get you out, depending on how badly you're hurt, that's between you and the hospital and you and the ambulance district. But your, your haul out of the backcountry will always be free. Uh, we do some searches that are very successful, bring people out alive, but take five, six, seven days. Uh, there's a lot of work involved in a six-day search and a lot of expense. Friends is the one that covers that for us. We're trying to build an endowment, the earnings of which will fund the team in perpetuity. We're between a third and a half of the way there right now. And we need people's help to get all the way there. Okay, yeah. And Colorado Gives Day, that was a pretty big day for you guys that, last that, week. Yeah, it was a good, big day. 11006 I think, was what we got on Colorado Gives Day. That's a little less than the price of one snow machine. <laughs> Just one snow machine. And if we have to go, I've, I've got the duty this week, if I have to send a team out on snow machines tonight, I can pretty much guarantee you we'll damage one. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The snow pack is a little thin. We've got to go. Uh, your chances of hooking a ski on a route or... Uh, sink in a machine in the stream that's still running are pretty good uh, and we have to pay for that and repair those machines. We're running machines at low speeds which they're not designed to do but that's how you bring people out of the back country. You don't put somebody in a sled and go flying down the trail. Uh, you burn up engines. Yeah. Uh, you burn up belts. Uh, you, do, uh, you change an awful lot of spark plugs. Uh, all of these things cost, and Friends of Mountain Rescue is the one that's building the fund to pay that cost. Okay, so once again, the Vail Mountain Rescue Group is a nonprofit organization run by volunteers, and now they have the Friends of Mountain Rescue. If you want to learn more about this, how you can donate, simply go to vailmountainrescue.org slash friends to get the details.